for St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV. Now is the time when people in the low country want to be outside, but when the heat rises, there are some simple things that Dr. Jennifer Nelson says you can do to avoid heat exhaustion. Ways to prevent heat exhaustion would be to wear lightweight, loose-fitting clothes, wearing a hat when you're out in the sun, wearing sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or greater, drinking plenty of fluids, especially before vigorous activity. It's problematic to drink caffeinated beverages or alcohol during the heat because those alcoholic beverages will dehydrate you. And caffeinated beverages also serve as a diuretic. When the heat index reaches 90 degrees, you are at increased risk for heat exhaustion, so it's important to know the signs and symptoms. Heat exhaustion can progress to heat stroke. Heat stroke can actually lead to death, and it's very important to recognize those signs. When your skin is hot and dry, you're no longer sweating, you're no longer having any urge to urinate, you may also see confusion or even loss of consciousness, you should call an ambulance and get that person to the hospital right away. For more information, call 402 Care. For House Calls TV, I'm Merritt Buck. Roper St. Francis Healthcare's House Calls TV.